All right, more on Novak's injury in just a second. But guys, for Stan, mm -hmm. that has to represent the culmination of a, a two-year journey to get all the way back from those two knee surgeries. That looked like Stan in full flight, right? Uh, absolutely is. And it takes the body a long time to get over surgery, over an injury like that. When you have surgical intervention, the body still thinks it's injured, even though it's not. So it takes a really long time to get back organized and, and balanced and, and, and trust the body and the body to trust the knees. So it is a combination, and it's really nice to see Stan in full flight. He was amazing. 84% points when he got the first serve. In. When his serve is on, he's pretty much unbeatable. Usually we don't like bullying. Stan Wawrinka plays bully tennis. It was about 18 months ago he lost to Tennis Sangren in Australia, and he admitted, listen, I'm not 100%, but i got to start this comeback somewhere. Well, we saw a culmination last night. He, get this, guys, he is 6-19 and against Djokovic. He has won four of their last five matches in majors, and the fifth one went to a fifth set, so he has Novak's number in these big matches. That was a great win for Stan. Sometimes players need indicators to put them in position to believe. The match that he won against Stefano Tsitsipas at Roland Garros, I believe, was a tipping point moment for Stan. He talked to his team before that tournament, said he felt like he was really close at Roland Garros. That match gave him, I think, the confidence that he could last physically he knew he might have to last a long match against Novak last night. Didn't turn out that way, but he was prepared for it. Physically, he felt good, and mentally, he looked ready for the contest, and he was. So what now for, for Novak? The elbow has been a problem. The shoulder has been a problem. We, we always talk about how Rafa's style of play takes a toll on his body. Same can be said for Djokovic, right? Yeah, and I think we also got to go big picture on this, guys. I mean, all these matches have great historical implications, and his not having a chance to defend here, that has implications that will last for years and years and years. And yeah, there's no question. He's got big points to defend. He's looking at holding on to that number one ranking as well. Doesn't want to get further behind in the Grand Slam leaderboard, which is likely to happen now. All right, that loss ends Novak's streak of 11 straight U.S. Open semifinals as we head.